You may have seen the news that this company is trying to de-extinct the Tasmanian tiger, but this feels kind of weird to me. Like, one, how? And two, did we learn nothing from the Jurassic Park movies? Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. <laughs> okay, so maybe it won't be quite this bad, but there are some real questions as to whether or not humans should be doing this. For reference, this is footage of the last known Tasmanian tiger, aka a thylacine. They went extinct in the mid-1930s due to shocker humans, specifically European colonizers who hunted them. Colossal Biosciences, a company that is also trying to bring back the woolly mammoth, partnered with the University of Melbourne. They raised money from a host of people, including the Hemsworths, to get the thylacine project off the ground. The team says the tiger is a good species to do this with, as they didn't go extinct too long ago, their habitat is still around, and researchers have samples of the animal readily available. The first step to de-extincting an animal, sequencing its genome and that of its closest to living species relatives. In this case, other carnivorous marsupials belonging to the Dasyuridae family. Then it all comes down to gene editing tech. Reportedly, Andrew Pask, who works at the Thylacine Integrated Genetic Restoration Research Lab, and who has mostly sequenced the genome, said having a de-extincted thylacine-ish thing in a decade is a reasonable-ish expectation. That first thing will probably only be about 90% thylacine. The ultimate goal is more like 99.9%, .9%, though I'll leave it up to philosophers to say if we can actually call that a thylacine. The point of all this is to help ecosystems. The thylacine was reportedly Tasmania's top predator. Researchers are hoping that bringing it back will have a positive effect on the environment. Plus, they say their research will help them save still living marsupials like koalas. There are a lot of naysayers about this project, with reasons including its feasibility and the ethics of it all. For example, even the thylacine's closest living relative diverged from it on the tree of life up to 40 million years ago. One critic said this would be like changing a dog's genome until it was a thing similar to a cat. In terms of ethics, there are arguments ranging from risking animal cruelty to needing to consult indigenous people about releasing new thylacine-like things onto their land. Also, the sheer amount of money that goes into projects like this could be spent conserving living species that desperately need it. A 2017 study found that two to eight species could be saved with the money going into de-extinction efforts. So do you think we should be trying to de-extinct species?